Hi guys, we're back with sessions 32 and today we're going to talk about if you were new to ICU, understanding ICU care, care planning, ARDS, atrial fibrillation, cardioversion and conscious sedation. Now you may be new to certain areas of a hospital like an ICU and ER, but that does not mean that you cannot organize yourself and I urge you to go to dearnurses.net and read the clinical settings step by step chapter 7 and 14. You do not just have to stand in a corner and just look useless. There's a lot you can do like in the case of this patient who's obviously in respiratory distress and being put in a ventilator. It does not mean you just have to stand and be wasteful. Now about the care plan, we know that when a patient is admitted to the hospital patient is given a diagnosis, we do a history and physical, there is a plan of care, of course we gather data, the doctor decides the course of treatment and um, medications are ordered by the doctor. These are things that you can know, you, if you go, you take care of a patient in ICU, you need to take a look at these things. And If you want to learn more about the care plan, go to dearnurses.com and read the care plan, what is it? And also another a bit of information that might be helpful to you. How about finding a resource, a more experienced nurse who might be able to give you information that would be helpful. Now here's the case of a patient if you've never worked in an ICU, you've got a patient, trauma patients are potentially able to go into ARDS, Adult Respiratory Distress Syndrome. Other patient causes could be pneumonia, near drowning, massive blood loss, blood transfusions, I'm so sorry, uh, pancreatitis, trauma like I said, sepsis. What would you expect to find in such a patient if you were that person? Shortness of breath, rapid respirations, anxiety and restlessness, um, and hypoxia where they have decreased oxygenation. The oxygen saturation would obviously be low. In the case of this patient, the oxygen saturation is 86. A tachycardia, which means a rapid heart rate, and sort of bluish tinge to the skin. Now, this patient in particular is in ARDS. He's restless, he's agitated, the alarms of the ventilator are going off, oxygen saturation is only 86. The nurse has called the doctor and he's just ordered an ABG, arterial blood gas. Usually an analysis is done and this is the giveaway that something is obviously wrong with oxygenation. So it's very important if you have a patient with these problems, do not be afraid to do an assessment, get some vital signs and let the doctor know that something is obviously wrong. Don't just shut the ventilator alarm off and walk away. Now how about the patient conscious sedation? What is conscious sedation used for? Well sometimes we have patients like in the ICU where the doctor may decide to do cardioversion. Cardioversion for, done for atrial fibrillation. When the patient has that sort of chaotic rhythm, it's controlled by medications. She makes a decision, discusses it with the patient, gets a consent for cardioversion and one for conscious sedation. You do patient and family education and you also include it in the care plan. You let that patient, the doctor discusses it, she, her plan of care. Once this is all ready, we, um, and another thing we ought to let you know is that atrial fibrillation may lead potentially to a blood clot going from the heart to the brain which could lead to stroke. Conscious sedation is then arranged by the doctor, cardioversion, the nurse assists the doctor and again like I said, you may be new to ICU, may be intimidated by all these things but take the time to go to dearnurses.net the clinical settings step by step, chapter 7 and 14, and they will be very helpful in letting you organize yourself in the ICU. So stay posted for more clinical information. Have a nice day.